It is intimacy with all ordinary conditions. Body, breath, and relationship in that order. <laughs> you know, if you don't have intimacy with your own embodiment, your own breath, there's no hope you can be intimate with your experience. It just doesn't happen. And the whole world is living like that, trying to be connected, but there's no connection to the first principle, which is my own body. You know. So it's utterly, you know, in Krishnamacharya's view, it is utterly necessary. As a scholar, he was saying this, there is no religious realization without yoga. He said it was always like that. But then the invention of doctrine as a power mechanism and the written word and so forth, spread by King Ashoka, created Buddhism as a power mechanism and, you know, rowing with Christianity and all of that. That's all it was, but they stripped yoga from, its, from their doctrine and turned it into meaning. And the idea of getting to, of, through the priesthood, getting to a future state, the whole idea of becoming is the problem. Trying to get somewhere is a denial of where you already are, what you already are. So there is no becoming in religious life. It is only participation in the given reality. Given, capital G, for God. Given. It is given, right? Are we all with that? <laughs>